Welcome to another 3ds Max tutorial. My name is Kent and today I will be teaching you how to clone geometry along a spline. We will be doing this by using the spacing tool. Right here I created a simple little object for us, nothing too special, just wanted some interesting looking geometry for us. First we want to go over to our create tab and then over to our shapes Then let's go down to line and then let's just draw a little diagonal here and let's select our object then go up to tools then down to align and spacing tool and now let's pick our path our path is going to be our line I can see that we have three of our objects on here the reason why we have three is because of our count now we can change our count to whatever we'd like and let's just leave that at 3 for now. In my time of using 3ds Max, the spacing start offset and end offset generally isn't used. Um, I guess there would be times where you would, but generally this uh, drop down menu, you're going to have the divide evenly objects and ends selected because you'll be making tank tracks and things like chains and tire treads and things like that where your object that you're cloning will be evenly spaced out so let's just leave that selected at this time and now we have context uh, let's select this edges for now so this edges that's where the edge of the object is going to be placed at the edge of the line that we created so now if we select centers that's where the center of the object is going to be placed at the edge of the line. So now we have this follow checkbox. So you can see that the x-axis is pointing this way, as is here. So, but what if we wanted the x-axis to follow our line? So we check this box, and that's what that does. So now it looks more like there's a say this was some kind of a I guess if this was a tank track pretending this would be more of the chain type thing that goes down the middle and then these would be the the pads of the sort so now this isn't actually finalized until we click apply down here so you can see if we rotate our camera view they go away because that is just a preview. So if we just change our parameter back to 5, you can see that it's like that. Now to get a better, let's get a better view here of kind of the follow. So let's drag out a helix here. We need some more camera space for that. Now let's do it like that, sure. I delete this line here, select our object, pick the path, our line, oops, there we go, having troubles with it today, there we go, and let's click apply, and there it is. That is lovely. Alright, well that's it for this tutorial. Please like and subscribe, and please leave a comment if you'd like to see more of something else. Now why do I blow on ice cream to make it easier to eat? It's already cold. I don't get it.